welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to do base glides and contact. I did a video on base glides before and it probably wasn't as good as this. This one should be a lot better. I'm going to show you guys how to do a glide and contact. So yeah, let's uh, jump into it. So what you'll need to get started is you'll need contact and an 808 patch. I'm using 808 Warfare. First, I'm going to show you guys what these glides sound like. You might have an idea of what they sound like, but just listen to how clean these specific ones are. Sounds pretty good, right? Okay, so I'm gonna save this before I fuck it all up. So first I'm gonna show you how to set up a glide in contact. So here I have my uh, stock 3808 patch in contact from 808 Warfare. There's a bunch of 808s in it. It's been around for a few years, it's pretty good. I always wondered how you could get a glide in this though, cause it's not easy to set up. You have to uh, do a bunch of tweaking under the hood. The first thing you want to do is you click this little toolbar. Then you're going to right click on the tune setting here. And then there's a glide option under others. You're going to want to turn that all the way up. 12 semitones is a good setting. After that, then you go to script editor. And then you click on this empty one here. And then you go to preset. Go to factory, go to performance, and then you go to unison slash portamento. So here's, your, here's the settings you want. You want to set it to legato, and uh, priority should be next note. Then you can put on portamento from off to, to auto or on. And then you can set the time to whatever you want. Basically, uh, you have to put on all these options in order for it to work. Cause if you just do just the glide, it, it'll re-trigger. And then if you just do the mono and the portamento, it sounds kind of funny. So you have to put all three options. And then once you had that, you should uh, test it out. See how it sounds. That's like the best 808 bend I've ever heard. So the question is how to use in the song? Well, what I do, is I make two copies of this synth. So I have the 808 with the bend. I'm gonna name that one bend. Then I have a, a regular copy of the 808 without the bend. Because uh, I find when you set this up in Ableton and Contact, you can't really just have one patch and switch back and forth between the glide and the non-glide, unless you can find a way to set up the, the mod wheel to turn the glide on and off. I don't know, I don't trust it. What I'll do is I'll have one with the bend, my 808 bend, and I'll have one that's just a regular 808. Let me see if I can reset this real quick. I'm just going to delete it, then make a new one, new dirty 808 patch. Let me make sure it's the same. Okay, yeah, so it's stock. It's a stock 3808 patch. So what I would do when I'm making a song is I would lay down the normal 808s first and then figure out where I want to put my bends. Then I'll put those in after. And then after that, once I have everything all laid out, I'll start side chaining and uh, cutting the, the links of the notes to make sure they don't hit each other. Because uh, that's one way to make this sound like a mess. So I'll show you guys what I mean here. I'm just going to record some stuff over it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have those uh, three notes like that every time the loop comes around. Three E notes. Okay, once I got that, I'm going to start working on my bends, right? Wrong. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna put a compressor on the bend anyway. I'm going to turn on the side chain, and then I'm going to change the input to get triggered by the regular 808. Then I'm going to turn the settings way up. 
basically the point is to side chain the other signal when it comes in because i only want one 808 hitting at a time so i'm going to have this other one completely cut out cut it off so you got to find a blend you also probably want to set your bend 808 to not have release on it i don't know actually it's hard to say because you want you want release you want release to let the glide go but then you also don't want too much release because then you want to make sure your other 808 uh doesn't overlap with it so i'm gonna try to do it with no release here and i'm just gonna see if i can get that sound good So as you can hear there, I got some 808s in, some 808 bins. Um, I just like these last two at the end here. I was kind of just messing around until I found something. Yeah, we got the bins and the 808s. If you want to clean it up further, you could bounce the audio and you could check when they overlap or if they overlap. I'm going to do that right now. I'll show you guys what that would look like. So name that bend. I would only do this once you have your, uh, your pattern all figured out and you're just basically wait until you're doing a mix down to do this part. We're going to have some work to do here. I, I could tell. So here you go. Here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to cut out that part there. And do the same thing here. I think the it's off a little bit here. I think I'm going to move it. Same thing here. Yeah, you can get way crazier with those. It's just a quick little showcase of what you can do. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned something. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.